Hey, what's up, folks? This is Keith, and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. Well, I recently had to replace the 4x4 shift motor on my brother-in-law's 2011 Ford F-150, and it had a code P1867, which is contact plate general circuit failure in it. And he also had symptoms like delayed shift into four-wheel drive. Also, his check 4x4 message would come on. Sometimes it would even engage harshly into four-wheel drive. And then at times it wouldn't go into four-wheel drive at all. I went through the test, found out it had a bad shift motor, or actually the contact plates inside the shift motor were faulty. But for the life of me, I couldn't find anywhere where anybody could explain how to do a bench test on one of these things. So I went ahead and I took the liberty of figuring that out for you, and I wanted to show you that today. Um, over here I got the bad shift motor, and then over here I've got a known good shift motor. And I'm going to show you how to bench test this. And particularly, I'm going to show you how to bench test the contact plates inside the shift motor. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here's what we got. We have our shift motor here. This is the motor part of it. And this is the contact plate assembly right here. And then, of course, you got your, your wire harness or your pigtail that comes off of that right there. You notice you got three screws right here. And I think that these are T15s. I'm not for sure on that. Uh, but they unscrew and so let's go ahead and take those screws out right there All right, let's get the screws out now this contact plate assembly comes right off of the housing just like that and then you see you got your uh, contact plate assembly right here and you got this little knob that goes into it well that knob sits right inside that half moon shape of the gear and whenever the motor turns this gear it in turn turns the contact plate knob and this knob will turn and there's a little swiper inside there that will contact the plates in different positions and allow continuity through the plates in different positions. So what the uh, 4x4 module is looking for uh, is looking co for continuity through those plates whenever it's in a certain position and if it doesn't see continuity through one or, or more of those plates when it's supposed to be in a certain position it'll throw that code so a lot of times and I've seen this on YouTube a guy made a really good video on this a lot of times well not a lot of times but sometimes you can actually fix this problem just by taking this uh, assembly off and moving it back and forth like that it can uh, kinda knock the uh, the resistance off of those contact plates a little bit there so you can do that put it back in and you may have uh, a good shift motor after that um, however I would suggest doing this bench test before you do that so that you know for sure and you can see the seal came off too by the way I just don't want you to forget to put that back on if you end up putting this back together and putting it back in your vehicle there okay so let's go ahead and get into it uh, you can see here you got your five wires going to your contact plate assembly here and this is the connector for it and inside this connector you can see you got several pins um, this particular pin right here towards the middle right there I don't know if you can see that or not this one right here on the second row towards the middle that particular pin goes to the wire that's common to all four contact plates and this row of pins right here go to your uh, go to each of your four contact plates there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a test lead right here on the common wire with a common pin then we're gonna put another test lead on another pin for the uh, one of the contact plates in there you see that or not there you go I think you can see that and what we're gonna do is we're going to Turn our volt ohm meter to ohms. All right, and we're going to turn this around here. And what we're going to do is we're going to spin this uh, this knob, and we should see continuity on that one contact plate. Now, if I keep rotating it, that continuity should go away. Yeah. All right, so that contact plate looks good. 
Now what we're going to do, we'll take a connector here. We're going to leave our common wire hooked up there and we're just going to move to the next pin on that row of four down there. You see that right there? We just moved this one to the next pin over to the left. And we're just going to do that again. So if that contact plate is good, we should see continuity. Alright, so I see continuity right there. I should keep spinning it and that continuity should go away. And by the way, 0.5 ohms resistance, that's my test leads. And there it goes, it goes away. And just keep going. We're going to go to the third one, working from the left to the, or from the right to the left. Alright, see that? I'm, in the, I'm on the next pin there. Should see continuity there we go we got continuity right there keep spinning it should go away and it goes away move to the next one see that right there got continuity already let's spin it should go away keep spinning it should come back there we go so, like I said, this is a known good one. So there's nothing wrong with that shift motor there. Okay, let's take a look at the bad one. So you can see what's going on with the bad one here. Now, by the way, there is a uh, another pin that uh, would be on here if, if you haven't totally detached this from your vehicle. And that goes uh, to a wire that goes to your transfer case there. Um, and, by the way, these two particular pins, that one and that one, those pins go to the motor just FYI so we're gonna go on the second row towards the center get on our common wire or common pin and then we're gonna go down to the bottom row there on that row of four and we're gonna go to the furthest right one put our connector on there all right and then we're gonna test this one out by rotating it we should see continuity well, I see something, but that's not quite continuity. That's uh, 2.7 mega ohms. Let's keep rotating and see what happens. Offline. 15.9 ohms. 340, 20 ohms. And it's just pretty whacked out. I'm just going to move this pin over to the next one here. Go. All right, let's give this thing a spin. Yep. Three mega ohms. Let's keep spinning. So, yeah, anyway, I think you guys get the picture. You know, you, you got the one common wire between the four uh, contact plates there, and then you got your four wires that go to the co those contact plates. Uh, just get on the common wire and then ohm out the uh, the other four and spin this thing. You should see continuity in one particular position or uh, a swath of that position and it should go away. So you, you shouldn't see your values jumping around like you just saw right there. So in order to take a little bit more of the mystery out of this, I, I went ahead and disassembled these. And you can see this is the, uh, the known good one. Uh, I went ahead and broke it apart. That's a little knob right there, and you can see that little plate twists as you twist the knob. Well, this plate has metal on it in certain areas there, and that metal, whenever that plate is spun, slides up against these little fingers right here. And as you guessed it, each of those fingers goes to each of those five wires that go to it. And then there's one that's common between all of them. And that would be the middle one. So that's your common one. That's the, the common one that we were back probing right here on our connector. And if you look on the disc here, you can see that the circle in the very middle of that group right there, this circle right here goes completely all the way around that disc. And then you see these other runs here next to it. And then 
these are the runs next to it right here um, they're all somehow connected to that common run right there because this is metal and you can see there are some places on this disc that are not metallic <clears throat> and that's when you're going to have your open circuit so as you spin this thing this center circuit right here going all the way around that's your common one and that's the one you got probed all the time and then say for instance you're back probing that that first wire well I'm not sure if this is where it goes or not but just for instance if that first wire goes to this run right here well for this duration right here that's how long you're gonna have continuity once you keep spinning it and then that that finger gets on this area you're no longer gonna have continuity between that first wire and the common wire so that's what's going on in here and you can see that each of those runs there's different on and off times for it and some may come on uh, for a short period of time like for instance right here then it'll go off for a short period of time and then for a long swath there it may be on and then it's off again so that's how that works and that's what we're testing we're making sure that we got good continuity between all of those runs right there now this is the plate that came out of the bad one and right off the bat I really shouldn't have to explain what's wrong with this one you can see it uh, there are places where some of that metal is actually missing and some places where it just looks like it's burnt up and in some areas you wouldn't have continuity between these runs because of missing metal or just burnt chart or, or whatever the heck that is right there so that's that's your bad one there so a couple of side notes going back to when I was doing the continuity test on the contact plates here I didn't continue to spin that knob so that you could see the short on time on some of these contact plates and the short off time and then the long on time I just showed you the continuity and then showed you how the continuity went away now there's not a one-size-fits-all pattern for these uh, contact plates you can see that this contact plate has a different pattern than this one this one came out of a 2011 I'm not sure what year this one came out of but you can just see that there there is a difference between the two so there's no way I could tell you that um, what on and off times or what uh, duration you're supposed to have continuity uh, when it's supposed to go away and when it's supposed to come back on the different uh, clutch plates for all of the F-150s out here that use this particular design of uh, shift motor. So this design of shift motor does fit a lot of F-150s throughout the years. So there's not a, unfortunately, there's not one particular pattern on this. So in that regards, take this test with a little bit of a grain of salt because I can't really get that particular with this. This test does, however, show you whether or not you have continuity and then an open circuit on the different contact plates and you shouldn't see anything other than full continuity and full off any resistance value other than like 0 or 0.5 at the most and most of that 0.5 is probably going to be your test leads is out of spec and it should it definitely shouldn't be bouncing around like you saw on this one right here so in that regard this test will help and it is beneficial to do this test to find that out now, you heard that I called the uh, contact plates contact plates plural, and why did I do that? Because there's only one plate right here. Well, what we're talking about is the different runs. Uh, there's contact plate A, B, C, and D, and those are your different runs on this particular disc right here. So that's why I say contact plates. Well, folks, that is it. I sincerely hope that this helps somebody. Folks, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Uh, I will try to get to you, albeit uh, I'm having a hard time keeping up with my comments on my channel right now. Um, I'll do my best, but if you got a question, just comment down below. I will try to get to you. Uh, guys, please read the entire description of this video down beneath it before you attempt this or apply any of this knowledge I'll have more very important information down there that you need to know uh, and a disclaimer at the very end please read that guys thanks again for watching